Well, hey there, welcome to another Ducati 900 building video. Let me show you what I've done so far. Last video, I've um, I've started painting uh, the uh, the bodywork and the red parts. Put a couple of pieces in here. Uh, so the tank, we can start with that. Uh, I have um, I sanded it down with the uh, 2000 grit sandpaper after painting it red, and then repainted it red, and got and I got rid of a lot of the imperfections. So I'm I'm thinking this is ready for a clear coat. And then, and then a final buffing. So that's good. Don't want to do that. Um, so here's a couple of pieces from a swing arm. Nothing too spectacular. They've also been um, painted. Uh, not clear coated yet though. And uh, here's another part. So uh, this is getting this is getting to a point where I need to apply the transfers, and I'm gonna do that next. Just wanted to show you. Oh yeah, the frame, of course. It's looking. Here we can see that. It's looking really good. And this is just the uh, Tamiya, uh, the Tamiya red, kind of a glossy red. Looking good. And I had a little problem on the rear part of the f or front part of the fender here. Uh, what is it? The rear part of the rear fender. Right here was a spot where I touched the paint before it dried. And I, I don't think it's... It's not perfect yet, but I don't think that will show. We'll see. I might have to set, re repaint this again. We'll see. And for the front cowling, uh, I've started masking it up because uh, <clears throat> this the lower part of it will be a um, flat or a green, the XF5. Now the manual specified the X5 because it's um, um, slightly more glossy green, which I should have used, but I bought the wrong one and I'm going to try using it, so we'll see. I'll probably end up okay once it's um, uh, clear coated and all. So uh, yeah, but, one, but what I wanted to show you was, if you look at the uh, picture of the bike here. So this is roughly what I'm going for. Uh, I'm not gonna have the, um, the the fenders black. I'm gonna have those red, and I guess that's the only thing that differ in this uh, in this picture. But you have your transfers. You have green transfers here, here, and the Ducati logo on the tank, and there are some small pieces here and there. All right, back here as well. Uh, but this one um, transfer, uh, and I'm, I'm going to show you. Here, um, oops. Here we go. Put this aside. This transfer. these ones here on the side here so these will go kind of like kind of like that and the edge oh you probably can't see anything in the light let me see if I can't there you go um, so these are gonna go right up against this uh, masking line I did here and th this white white transfer line will wrap around each side so I think they'll be um, they'll come out good so I'm gonna paint the lower part of this green and just have the transfer uh, instead of painting the um, white line there so I'm gonna use the transfer for it that's it's gonna be good I, I tried on another little side note here I tried uh, messing about with the exhaust uh, you might remember I mentioned <clears throat> I mentioned that the um, that I like the the color the chrome color of these but I didn't want the um, seam line between the the parts showing you can see here's some 
uh, marks from where I clipped it off the sprue and there's no way of go, get, uh, going around that so what I ended up doing or will end up doing completely is just I'll sand these uh, f uh, flat fill them in with some green putty if need be and um, Yeah, and and just get a chrome color. I mean, I'm gonna use the um, Vallejo, uh, the Vallejo Chrome Silver, or just Chrome. It's a uh, from their Air Color range, a model Air Color. And I'm gonna try using that if and, and buff it up. We'll see how we. Get. But obviously, we won't get this mirror sheen. But maybe maybe it's enough. We'll see. But that's uh, a kind of a later project on this bike. Right now, I'm gonna paint that green and tackle the transfers. So, see you later. Right, I thought I'd just show you. I uh, just show you when I uh, airbrush this thing. Uh, you might notice my voice is a little bit different. It's because I'm wearing a, uh, a mask. Um, the, this particular spring booth doesn't work as well as I would like it to, so uh, there's uh, the sterile uh, overspray coming out. So, uh, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, uh, here we go. All right, it's been a little while since I last recorded something, so I've, I've actually done a lot since you uh, since the last update. Uh, all the painting is, is is almost done, and I'm basically just waiting for a, a product uh, to come in the mail. So let me show you what I've done. Uh, let's start here. The engine has fully been assembled, and a, all, all the parts has been uh, has been painted in different colors so that's done I actually uh, added a wash to this as well um, I was a little bit apprehensive whether it will work or not if it would just look too you know war game like because because usually I paint warmer fake figures and I use washes all the time but, but this I'm going for um, and this product I'm going for realism and uh, I didn't know, but it turned out well. I uh, thinned down the wash, uh, the Bata Black is what I use. I thinned it down very much and applied it two times. So that turned out great. Uh, there's a lot of, let me just pull this out here. Here's a lot of small parts. Oops, all over the place. Yeah, you get the point. I have the, the setup on uh, these clamps here. And I just uh, paint them separately. The chain and the sprockets assembly is also done. I don't know if you can see that. Well, it is done. And um, oh yeah, I was really pleased with the um, uh, what do you call it? This, this the steering. Oh brain fart okay never mind I'm, I'm very pleased with this one um, I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera but the uh, the handles are actually a matte black finish while the the metal parts as well as the top of the, uh, the trees here is um, this is more of a, um, a glossy a glossy black and of course there's the chrome uh, details there so I'm actually gonna paint the the mirrors. I'm thinking just doing the Vallejo uh, model air color um, chrome. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna paint it with something so it, it's not at least it's not black. And um, well, here's a caliper and some electronics, the battery box or the battery as well. Oh yeah, and th these are pretty cool. Uh, this is the suspension for the rear wheel 
Uh, you might remember in the um, the first um, the first video where I opened the box, I said maybe the suspension might work. Maybe you you could spring it up and down. But as you can see, uh, or I'm about to tell you, that won't work because uh, uh, the piston in here, the the dampener, so to speak, is uh, just one solid piece. So it's just for looks, but it looks good, and uh, there's some transfers there as well. Uh, speaking of transfers, right, I have applied all the transfer. Let me take those out to here. Here's the part of the... Um, well, let me take them all out. The tank and the front cowling. So uh, what I have left with these is uh, the clear coat. These have not been clear coated yet. So... Um, that's the absolute final step and obviously after the clear coat I'm gonna paint this the seat because um, I want that kind of matte but yeah the uh, the transfer went went on great um, have a little bit trouble getting rid of the uh, the transition from the transfer I mean the edge of the transfer to the actual uh, um, uh, well, the body of the bike. So I'm gonna apply two or three coats of the clear, and I'm gonna buff that down, or maybe even lightly, lightly sand it to get it perfectly smooth. So this tank is looking very good. Um, yeah, it's the same here. I mean, I gotta apply some um, uh, clear coat, and then I'm gonna sand or buff it down, sand it down, and buff it up. That's that's the that's the way. And uh, the um, the front cowling here, I wasn't too pleased with it. You might have, in the last update, I um, I painted this green part here and I said I didn't have the um, the right color recommended by the manual. So uh, I was supposed to use a glossy color and I used the matte. And there's just all kinds of stuff on it. Um, I shouldn't really touch it, but matte surface, just, I mean, stuff just sticks to it. Uh, so what I did was... Um, or no, what I want to tell you was the the masking tape I applied left a lot of residue on the red, so uh, I didn't really I should have dulled the paint uh, the, dulled the uh, tape by just sticking it on and off from, on my pants or on the table here, so it isn't as adhesive because it let, left a lot of adhesive um, residue on here. So I had to sand all the red parts down and then repaint that again which was a problem because I didn't have any more red so I had to um, order that and wait for that as well but we're here now it's done uh, I'm gonna clear coat it and hopefully the green will come out uh, a little bit better a little bit cleaner uh, so we'll see about that and um, not now. okay the frame here I could show you I put on the horn and a couple of pieces here on the sides uh, nothing too major and also there's a little little transfer there I don't know if you can there you go this little transfer I guess it's a chassis number or something um, yeah oh right haha -ha. almost forgot the uh, <laughs> the best part of the bike let me show you come here ta -da! the wheels, the rear wheel and the front wheel and the uh, disc brakes or the discs are all painted up nicely and um, I put on the tire so these are awesome <laughs> as I told you in the uh, in the little unboxing I'm very very impressed with that so that's gonna look really good but yeah I just want to show you this and uh, probably in the next video or next update I will uh, have this I don't know maybe there will be another update because I'm gonna I'm gonna do the um, the exhaust uh, I mentioned that I wasn't really uh, uh, happy with the chrome finish on the uh, that I got with the sprue so uh, I'll probably do a little update on that um, I put it all together so I mean I mocked up the part of the bike and the engine and the frame and I got these all aligned 
uh, perfectly before gluing them. So they are gonna. I just uh, wanted to have them in one piece so I could paint them later. So I'm I'm using. I have ordered the Alclad 2 uh, chrome color. Uh, I believe Alclad 2 is the uh, the um, it's either the product name or the company name. Uh, anyway, the product's name Al Alclad 2, I believe. Uh, and I, I ordered that and the um, and the the, um, the base code that you need to use with that product. Uh, so I'm, I'm waiting for that to get come in the mail, and then I could get on with painting these uh, a chrome finish. And that's and from what I can tell, and from what a lot of people uh, that I've seen use this product, this it will come out, you know, a mirror finish, like perfect chrome. So that's gonna look really good, and that's what I wanted from the first place. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I got on the in the um, in the box here. So here's another a couple of pieces. Obviously, these are gonna get used with the Alclad 2 and the covers here from the for the engine. I'm gonna paint those with the new chrome color as well. But I want to show you is uh, this look all shiny and, and, and great, right? But the other side is totally matte. From my understanding, the, um, uh, this, the process of doing this is uh, uh, the, the um, what's it called? The forms that you inject your plastic in, they get coated with a light coat of this uh, chrome color, so uh, one side uh, only gets uh, gets that chrome uh, color, but it looks kind of stupid since, uh, especially with the uh, um, I mean the forks, one side being chrome and not not the other, and I'm guessing this is the inside, but still, I mean that that's not very um, yeah, I'm not too pleased with that. So, uh, and you can imagine the uh, exhaust here. I mean, this part here had a um, had the chrome, while this part didn't. And there was a really uh, high ridge um, like this. I don't know if you could put, uh, see that, but still, there's a very high ridge uh, where this side's uh, where the um, where the chrome color ends. So that did not look good at all, and I, I wouldn't put that on the bike. No way. I rather paint this all silver. Uh, but I'm happy I found the the uh, the chrome color, and I'm waiting for it to arrive. So when that's the, uh, coming, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna show you how I used it and uh, the results in in, in more detail because it's all new to me, and, and no, oh, some of you might be interested to see. It's a uh, it's a fairly different product. Uh, from what I've used before, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be good. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much what I want to show you. Um, a little update on how far I've gotten. Uh, next video, probably I will. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the clear coat on all the red parts, and there's some little little details here and there. But basically, it's done, and uh, after the uh, clear coat, so probably we'll do assembly next time. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.